Hi, everyone. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us in our brand new sewing space. Uh, if you were, <laughs> if you don't know me, my name is Callie. I am the online product and sales specialist here at allbrands.com. And I am very, very excited to be hosting the All Brand Show for the first time. Um, if you were with us for the Houston Quilt Festival last year, I hosted the allbrands.com mall booth in December and absolutely loved it. And now I'm here on the All Brands show and I could not be more excited, especially for today. Um, so if you are just tuning in, thank you so, so much for joining and sound off in the comments. Let us know where you're from or where you're watching from right now. And uh, cause I love seeing where everybody's from and who's watching and stuff like that. Um, and we have a really, really fantastic show for you today. And we have some amazing giveaways. I'm not going to spoil everything, uh, but I will say stay tuned until the end because we will be giving away some really awesome stuff from Grace and we will be giving away a hundred dollar all brands gift card at the end of the show. So stick around for that and go ahead and get started. Like, comment and share. That way you are eligible to win that all brands gift card. And I'm so, so excited to, uh, to get this started with you guys. So who do we have tuning in? Who do we have tuning in right now? Ohio, is that Ohio? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Columbus, Ohio, hi. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Washington State, okay. All right, oh my goodness. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. I hope that you're all staying warm where you're at from sunny Michigan. Oh, it's sunny here too today. Hawaii, okay, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I want to come visit. It sounds really amazing. Uh, Rochester, New York. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. South Carolina. Oh my gosh. We've got so many people across the country right now. So in just a second, I am going to bring on Mark and Carla from the Grace Company. And we are going to be talking about the new cutie frame from Grace. Um, I'm really, really excited for y'all to see this. I think this is a really, really fantastic frame. Um, and if you are curious, we do have all of the stuff that we will be talking about today in our Facebook shop. So go ahead and go to our Facebook shop as well while you're still watching and take a look at all the cool stuff that we've got. And uh, so let's get into it. We'll go ahead and bring, uh, bring Mark and Carla on right now. Hey, how's it going y'all? How's it going, Callie? Hey. We're good. Good. It's good to be All with right. you today. We're in uh, sunny Utah, so yeah. everybody has sunny, sunny weather. I know. I'm really happy about that. Oh my goodness. So, what do you have for us today? I've really, I'm really, really excited for everybody to see the new cutie frame. Yeah, and we're always excited to show it. Carla here, <laughs> being our professional quilter, educator, quilt everything you can imagine. She she loves quilting. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so she's going to go in and out, we're, but we're going to show the versatility of the cutie frame, what it means for all the quilters who don't have uh, space in their home, the accessories, um, and then, and I understand, Callie, you have some wonderful prices, um, combo packages, frame only, and um, that's exciting to hear as well from, from your end. Yes, we do. And if any of you who are watching at home have any questions for Mark and Carla, please type them down, type them all down in the chat and we will answer them. We'll answer as many as we can live. So um, without further ado, take it away, y'all. Let's do it. Okay, so the cutie frame. Um, and I don't know by show of hands how many of you guys, <laughs> I'm just kidding, how many of we how many of you viewers have already heard or seen the cutie frame? I'm curious. Um, and what do you all think about the cutie frame already if you've seen it? Uh, but the cutie frame, it, Carla, we wanted the cutie frame because we know the versatility and we know the users out there, when we keep hearing space, maybe cost, um, maybe travel, they like to travel, right? right? And portability is a big one as well because they don't want a frame sitting up the whole time. And a lot of people don't have a dedicated space for their quilting so they want to be able to take it put it up take it down when they can so this that's, frame is for you that's right <laughs> and when we think of a frame we have quilters right we have uh those you like to do king size quilts oh i do I, they grow so you don't know what when you're starting but as you're piecing you sometimes need to add an extra border or an extra block and they just kind of grow and you know they have a personality all their own so that's right and if you're limited and you don't have the space and you have these um, jobs or, or quilt tops that you want right. to do that are a little larger, you tend to maybe have to go somewhere or you probably just 
what not not do as much because you don't have the room for it. right right then then you don't want to limit your quilting your creativity so this is a really good frame that doesn't uh, hinder what how you want to quilt or how you want to create so let's that's right so let's it. yeah so, let's show so this one over by me and over by carla these are both the cutie tabletop frames is what we call it and the reason why we call it a cutie tabletop frame because you can put this cute frame on a on a table as you can see here so we have um and we'll get into these machines in a bit but right now what we have is our cutie frame on top of just this particular table right that we just have here right. um what it is is you have about was i think like 27 inches of bottom space that right. as long as your tabletop that you're putting your frame on is 27 inches this will fit on anything so i mean anything right carla our right. coffee table Dining table, countertop, countertop um, anything and, flat? Right, you anything can put it on. flat and sturdy. Yes, it, it's a, it's an amazing little frame. You you would think that you would get lots of vibration, a lot of problems. Uh, uh it is so sturdy and so stable. I mean, like I was so impressed with how it quilts and that you don't have to worry about the vibrations or anything like that. It just is amazing it is amazing and earlier i was talking about the frame aspect the king the king frame right and so we don't want to have to have you um, users sacrifice the hobby that you love you want to do king quilts great you right. don't need to sacrifice maybe the space because you can't afford or fit right. in uh, a large frame here's the opportunity for you to do your large quilts small quilts travel quilts let's say you want to travel if you have motorhome what have you here is the frame for you through all brands. Um, so now let's get in some of the features, right? Mm -hmm. So Carla, as we talk about the features, let's talk about the carriage system that it rides on, right? So a frame, uh, most of you who probably do the quilting sit down currently, right? So they move the fabric right. underneath the machine and that can put a lot of strain on your shoulders your arms it gets your back what have you and now here's opportunity for them to move their machine on top of the fabric right and it could be any machine um the one we over have the one we have uh, by you if we could get a picture of the one by you carla we have we have the juki machine on right so there's the juki machine right on on the cutie frame so it doesn't matter what size of machine you have right. all that matters is if you have a table that you put this little cutie frame on um it has a carriage system that we talked about so the the machine sits on a carriage and this carriage has the same uh wheels that our professional frames right. have or our bigger frames dual right? wheel. the dual wheel system so you're not sacrificing any um let's talk about the versatility and the adjustability of, of the frame. Um, what size of machines can fit on this frame? Uh, anything from a domestic, like a Juki machine, all the way up to a 19 inch throw. And that's what we're showing here is that this is a 19 inch throw machine. And the way it does this is this pole right here extends out to allow more quilting area as you're quilting. So it grows this direction, that it doesn't grow this direction. That's right. <laughs> And let's just show all the viewers how simple it is maybe to adjust, right? right? So when you travel, or I shouldn't say when you travel, even at home, we don't want to have, you don't want to have to get all the tools out to adjust your no. frame, right? These ones have nice quick release levers for you to adjust your frame. So we're going to go ahead and show on this one, right down here, because let's do this one, Carly, yeah. Okay. And then this one is what you can do, and then you can move your, move it in and out. I don't know if you guys saw that, how simple that was. You can see it's adjust that front rail for you to have your smaller machine. Now we have this small throat space to a larger throat. So you don't have to but go out and buy a whole new frame. You can just upgrade. That's right. So now you can fit up to the 19th mm -hmm. machine, which is pretty phenomenal to have that versatility on such a small compact frame. Right. Okay. Now let's talk about the back row. Right, how simple it is to take off the back row. And again, we have these little top levers here. And now you can see, but I'm sliding this top lever off. And all that does is release the freight, the, the rail out to take the machine off. To the machine off. So 
If you have one machine that you're using for your piecing and your quilting, it is very simple to adjust or to take off your, your uh, machine to go back to your piecing or put it back on to do your quilting. So okay. it's very simple to do that. Put that back on. There we go. Okay. Now let's show, I want to take one of these off. Okay. And the reason I'm taking this off is to talk about uh, these plastics and I'm going to show, okay. So what these are, Carla, right? These on a larger frame, you have ratcheting systems to keep your fabric nice and taut. Um, quilt clips on this or bungees on the side, quilt clips on the side. And because this is a four sided uh, frame, right. we needed a way to keep it nice and taut everywhere. Right. right? So here is what we call like our ra ratcheting mechanism. Okay, so opportunity when you put your fabric on, and we'll show on the one down there, but as you put your fabric on, these grooves in this plastic adjust so that you can have, um, try to get a good angle here, right? I'm gonna throw you, okay, three. I'm gonna come up to three. <laughs> so right, there we go. So we have these little indents all around, and as we twist this on the rail, it, acts just like a ratcheting mechanism and the square steel goes in each one of these grooves to keep it nice and taut. That's a good picture there, Courtney. Good job. <laughs> All right. Now, the frame, the machine, the versatility, um, how heavy is it? Oh, the frame, it's so light um, that you could easily, after your machine is off, pick it up and store it in a closet under a bed. Um, well, probably not under a bed, but you could hang it <laughs> <laughs> and display it. Um, yeah, so it's very easy, very lightweight that you don't need somebody to take it off the table and put it away. You can do it yourself. Absolutely. Now, Kelly, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can okay. hear you just fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm bringing you guys back in because all brands, you guys have done phenomenal already introducing this to your guys' viewers. Right. And I want to know kind of what you're, as you're looking at this, Callie, what are some of your thoughts to hear so far of what this frame offers to those viewers who maybe sit in the same um, situation we talked about with either space um, they want to do large quilts or their, their machine, travel. What are your thoughts on that as you see so far what we've shown? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm in love with this whole frame, this whole system, honestly. <laughs> um, one of the things that I really love about it is that it is very ergonomic or it has the potential to be if you want to just stand up and just do it, do your thing while you're standing up. You could do it on your cutting table. You could do it anywhere, right? Um, and I know you y'all have said that already, um, but I really, really love that feature. And as someone who lives in a very small apartment space, um, I really, really love that this is something that you can very easily pick up and put away and also, you know, set back up wherever you need it. Um, at, really any time. That's one of my favorite things about it, honestly. Um, and I do love that you do have a lot of potential to really put any machine that you have um, there. I think that's really fantastic. Um, and something else that I don't think we've talked about just yet is the price point. I am in love with how much this frame costs. Um, so if you aren't aware, all of you at home, um, we are currently selling this frame for $7.89. Yes, $7.89, you heard that right. Um, and so just be aware, um, we're only selling it at $7.89 for what, about a week? Um, we're not going to be selling this for $7.89 much longer. I believe by March 1st, that price is going to go back up to $8.89. So if this is something that you are interested in, get it now, get it while it's hot. Um, it is really fantastic. Um, and it does look like we have a question from oh, Michelle. Question. She's, asking, <laughs> she's asking what the smallest throat uh, that can be used on the frame is for like a domestic machine. Well, really the smallest throat can be 
any almost we talk about any machine right carla well, any machine do. yeah um, but if you can have a throat that's too small and you're not going to be able to quilt very far before you keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling so i'm going to say as a rule of thumb about a nine inch throat that's a good size or larger um to to stipulate that it works on these frames now like i said with the smaller throats yes you can quilt with them we started out with my little bernina 1030 and it has only a five inch throat but you can quilt with it it just takes a lot more rolling and shifting so just be aware that if that's what you can start out with you can start out with that but you know the sky's the limit with this little frame that's right that's a good question. And I agree with you, Carla, that nine inch is a perfect starter machine right, that you want to do. And then to your point, the nine inch machines, we know from working with customers and I know the viewers and Cal, you probably know too, from working with everybody who have the smaller machines, sooner or later, those customers, they are going to realize themselves exactly what Carla, you just said, right? right. With the amount of time you're moving the fabric over and, and over and over. Cause you do get tired of those limitations, but that's what makes this frame so great is yes. that you can upgrade to a larger machine when you're ready. That's so right. start out with your home machine, see how long, and it won't take long, and then you're ready for that next step. But you can do it in chunks and in increments and you're not laying out a whole big lump sum. That's so right. it looks like we have another question on YouTube. Um, someone wants to know if it has an accessory to do ruler work with. Um, I'll let y'all handle that, but I, uh, I think I may have an answer, but I'll let y'all take <laughs> care of it. <laughs> okay. That's right. Do you want me to answer yeah, that? Okay. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So with your domestic home machine, you can find what they call as a ruler base. And I, there's a company, I believe it's so steady. All brand knows very well, um, that makes ruler bases for a lot of those domestic machines and they fit just right around it. It's just like a little table that you would use. Now with our Tunique machines, we do have ruler bases. Okay. Oh, so that one, <laughs> we do have ruler bases then they fit around. So it just gives you that nice solid surface. I love ruler work. So yeah, don't think that you can't do all the little things that you love and want to do. Yeah. You can do it all on this little frame with your machine. That's right. That's a good question. Do we have any other questions, Callie, that we want to get to? Um, let's see. Um, I'm not seeing anything at the moment, okay. um, but I did want to point out, um, they were asking about the, the ruler base. Um, I think this might be a good time to bring up the combos that we have on our website. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, so we are also, uh, not only are we selling the cutie frame by itself, uh, but we also have two different ruler uh, cutie frame quilting combos. Um, I think, I believe we have them called quilting combos on our site. Um, so we have one that it comes with the cutie frame. Um, it comes with the brother PQ 1500 SL. Um, and then we also include that 13 by 13 ruler base. Um, an extension table and um, Grace's speed control box. Um, so we have that combo and that one is going to go for $16.99. Um, and then for $19.99, we have that combo, but instead of the brother, that PQ 1500 SL, we have the TL 2010Q with that as well. So if you're just looking, if you've just come onto the show and uh, if you're watching and you're starting to get into machine quilting, I think that both of these are really really great combos for you to get started with. Um, it's got everything you need. It really does. Um, and honestly, even just the cutie frame itself, if you already have a machine and you're looking to get started, this is the perfect frame for you. <laughs> Wonderful. And those those prices, Kelly, like you had mentioned earlier, those are just phenomenal prices, not only the frame on itself, but with the combo packages. Uh, that's just That's just phenomenal. So Good job on those prices and you can order through all brands. I see some of them already placed some orders through you, which is great. And yes, they'll be uh, shipping out. Um, we did get our shipment in. So our we are looking. In. Yeah. It's, it's taken a little while. <laughs> <laughs> So, so actually, um, I think right now might be a good time to do our first giveaway. Oh, okay. Um, let's do great. it. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we are going to give away a couple things today. So if you're worried about this being the only giveaway today, don't worry about it. Stay tuned. We will have plenty more. Um, if you are just joining us, welcome. And we do have plenty of giveaways uh, ready for this uh, this broadcast. And we are going to be giving away some awesome stuff from Grace. And at the end of this, we are going to be giving away a $100 All Brands gift card. So stay tuned, but right now, go ahead and get those comments in, get those shares in. Um, we'll give y'all you know, a minute or so to get in there. But right now we will be giving away uh, a Grace Quilters combo. So go ahead and uh, comment and share. Um, and in the meantime, Mark, could you tell us what all goes into the Quilters combo? I would absolutely <laughs> not. Yes, I would. Okay. <laughs> So, all right, I'm gonna to go to three here. So I'm gonna walk up closer here. So the Quilters Combo, this has been the best selling combo that we have put together. The reason is we provide the customers or for you viewers, the, the right tools needed to cut straight. So we have our common six and a half by 24 and a half ruler. We have our 45 comfort cutter um, and we have our true grips. These true grips are phenomenal to go on the back of any ruler to keep from sliding. And then we also have the comfort cutter, which is the best ergonomic cutter that you will ever use. So all in one package, you have the common size ruler, the best ergonomic cutter, and then the true grips. So now you're going to always cut easier, safer, and more accurate. And that's our um, pretty much our tagline on true cut. Turn it over and show them the track and guide system. Yeah, let's see if we can get a big, good close up here picture. So. The tracking guide without that glare. Oh, there's a glare. So what it does is we have a guide on the on the um, cutter that goes along this track on the ruler, and now it keeps the blade against the ruler's edge. So you don't. And I'm sure everybody who's been cutting, they tend to you tend to veer away from the ru ruler's edge. Um, I cannot believe not one of you probably have never done that because oh, everybody has either veered away or they gone up and over the ruler or they nick their finger. This package right here, that will save you your fingers, your ruler, um, and fabric. And cause, money. And money. Because fabric's expensive. We want to make sure we cut straight. So that's a fantastic combo. So that's the first giveaway. So who won this lucky prize? I believe we have selected a winner. And we'll show the name on screen right now. Yes. Oh, yes. Teresa. Oh, my goodness. Well, Teresa wants the quilters combo. Teresa, you got the quilters combo. <laughs> congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, so, Teresa, congrats. And if you would, please, please email events at allbrands.com and give us your name and your phone number. And we will go ahead and get that quilters combo out to you. And congrats again, Teresa. This is very exciting. Um, but if you're uh, if you're just tuning in and if you just missed this past giveaway, no worries, stay tuned. We have three more coming up and we will have some more stuff from Grace and we will also have a $100 All Brands gift card uh, coming up at the end. Um, but while we're kind of hanging out and chatting about the cutie, um, so we uh, we looked a little bit at some of the machines that can fit on this um on this new frame. And I think it's really awesome how versatile and how many different sizes can fit. Um, it looks like you've got what the Q, um, the 19 on the one behind you, Mark. Yes, the Q19. So what's nice about the Q19 is many features to it. And we'll get into the Q19 because um, we know probably a lot of the viewers have a smaller domestic machine. Um, What's nice about them using their smaller domestic machine is it gets them ready to dive into something to this to this uh, size, right? Um, we're getting you comfortable by moving the machine on top of the fabric. Um, and so being able to do so, you pretty much turn your own domestic machine into a long arm. So yes, we do have our 19 on the cutie frame. And I just love having, a, I'm gonna move this around here. And it's just so smooth on the carriage to move your machine over the fabric like you see all the long arm quilters do. And with the throw space, the amount of work you can accomplish in the, in the fast time is incredible because you have 19 inches to use. And all this is, Callie and all the viewers is right, it's on the cutie frame that's sitting on top of this table using a long arm and it doesn't take up as much space. Um, the frame itself is uh, four feet wide or length, I should say, four feet in length. So that's not much bigger than a sit down table anyway, right? Right. 
Yeah, and you can do any size quilt. So don't let the size fool you. You can quilt a king size quilt. Um, it takes you a little longer with your domestic machine, but it, it can be done and you will enjoy it. It makes quilting so much more enjoyable. That's right. But Callie, you notice on our 19, we have handlebars, right? Yes. Yeah. So a lot of the viewers might be thinking, hey, I don't have handlebars because I have a Juki right. or I have a Janome or Bernina or Viking, whatever machine you have, you may be thinking, wait, does it have handlebars? What's nice about the kitty frame is it comes with everything out of the box for you to use your own machine, which mm -hmm. includes handlebars, right? So let's show the handlebars if we can. And I know oh, they're covered. Now they're on the back. Yes. So we're going to show you how easy it is to move from the back to the front. <laughs> and you can get a picture right there. Cars are going around. You can show okay. them right there as you grab the handlebars. Right, right. Here's the handlebars. And I was just working from the back, um, sewing with a pantograph using the laser. And the laser is just mounted right here on the side of the cutie frame. And you just turn it on. And I, and I have a stitch regulator with this. So I've just got to remember what direction I'm going because. Uh, so I think, Carla, let's fire it up. So right, Carla's going to Carla's going to turn, turn it on. It on. I just had to remember show. what direction I was going. So if I mess up, I'm just taking that little red dot. It's just going to follow the design. And I'm just going to follow along. Oh. And I'm standing up. That shows the versatility. Now I could sit down if I had a back problem and use a nice rolling chair. I could do this all day. If you are angry and you need therapy, <laughs> put your sewing machine on the frame and it will wash all your anger away. You'll forget why you were so mad at that loved one. All right. Okay, Mark, I'll stop. Just I know how hard it is for it. you to stop, Carla. <laughs> it's very hard. All right, uh, so let's show you how easy it is to take the handles from the back and put them on the front. I'm just going to unattach my sure stitch display because that will mount to the front on the handles and I'll just put it down underneath. And now I'm just going to loosen this knob right here. I'll loosen it up. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull my handles out. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, there they are. And I'm just going to move it <laughs> to the front. And I rolled it up so you can see how easy it is. Now I'm going to un so I can move it forward as much as I can. I'm going to put the needle in the down position there. And I'm just, see these little holes right here on the front? So it's as easy as So let's this. get a good picture here right now. So we're going to adjust our camera so everybody okay. can see if we can. Right here. We're going to, so what Carla's showing, there it is right there. So go ahead and show them those holes again. Right here. These are the holes that your handles go in. And it's as easy as this. Okay. It's a lot easier than I'm making it look. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. There you go. There. And now, now because my fabric is going to be right there, I'm just going to leave my handles out right here so I can sit. Yes. So, Kelly and the viewers, let's talk about this, now this setup, right? Uh, the reason why we had to do the handlebars underneath the uh, fabric or on this frame underneath the fabric is because you can drape the fabric over all four sides of the frame, right? And if you have the fabric draped over the side, it's gonna be very hard to grab those handles because it's gonna be covered in fabric. Right. And so you also see how we did it with the, uh, with the bungees or with the, yeah, bungee. The uh, elastics. The elastics. Clips. All right, so this, and my, I should bend down a little bit, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this setup right we have now is exactly how you can do the king. Look at this. We have fabric hanging off the side over here. Right. Okay. And we have fabric over there. And we have side clips to quilt or to hold down this. Let's go back to that picture again if we can. Okay. We have side to hold down this. So everywhere on top of the fabric is going to be nice and taut and rolled up. So it doesn't hang over. It's not sloppy. And it has the front rolls. You can see it's all rolled up in the front. It does the same thing in the back. 
And this way it keeps it all nice and uniform. So everything, if you look at this frame, let's get a good picture on the back of the full frame. Look how clean that is, as you can see. There's nothing hanging over mm -hmm. and you have access to the handlebars to move your own domestic machine around the top. Right. And that is, that is crazy, right, Carla? That yeah, is... so you can work from the front or the back. Mm -hmm. Easy. <laughs> Now, speaking of the back, um, I noticed, Carla, that you mentioned, um, I think it was like a laser light that you were yes. following that pattern with. Can we talk about that a little bit? Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, let me go back, back behind here. Um, this is a battery powered. Now, this laser works with the domestic machines on the frame. If you have a unique machine, it has a different laser, but a laser will work um, as well. So we have lasers for both styles. And all you do is, is you mount it right here on the holes on the side with the screw and you'll just angle it and you'll adjust your pattern so you can follow. And, and it's a lot of fun. Now I'm not that great at it, but <laughs> it makes easy work if you don't know what to quilt. And you can buy pantographs online. So. It's just another way of quilting. That's awesome. Thank, thank you so much for showing us that. I appreciate it. Um, now, is that something that comes with the frame or is that um, a separate? No, that's an optional accessory. Awesome. I don't know why you wouldn't want that, honestly. I think that's Oh, fantastic. and it's really a lot of fun. So yeah, put that in your little cart, <laughs> that laser. <laughs> that's right, put it in the cart. Yeah, that is really, really useful. Oh my goodness. Um, Angel would like to know if the frame is height adjustable. So Angel, good question. So as you can see, right now as we talked about, it's on, the, it's on a table. Right. So any of the tables you put it on, those can be height adjustable, right? So if we can adjust your legs, um, whatever table you have it on. So if you have it on a coffee table or your countertop or a fixed table, obviously those are not going to be adjustable, right? Because they're on a fixed but if you can buy one of those adjustable tables that you can adjust the legs, absolutely. However, yeah. however, <laughs> those are some nice looking legs over there, Carla. Oh, thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, coming soon. Yes. Not yet, Mark. Oh, yes. shoot. Settle down. Not yet. Settle it's down. coming <laughs> soon. We have these nifty little legs that you will be able to attach to your cutie frame and just have a nice little portable setup um, and quilt either standing or sitting because they are height adjustable yes so it's coming but not here yet there you go <laughs> <laughs> awesome oh my gosh i am so excited about those though that is really fantastic um and i think in just a second we might be doing our second giveaway oh nice um, okay yeah we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get everybody um Put those comments in, get those shares in, all that good stuff, and we will enter your name uh, to randomly select a person to win a Grace electric sharpener. Um, in the meantime, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about that electric sharpener? Yes, I would love to. So the electric sharpener, first off, I want to say it absolutely works. It does. Okay, it does. And we're not just saying that because yeah. we sell it. We've been around the block. And well, we've used it. I, I have used it and it works. And there's other ones out there that obviously say they sharpen. And it mm -hmm. kind of gets, you know, the, for the viewers or for, for you guys who are buying blade sharpeners, because let's face it, the blades you have are not cheap. Nope. Okay. And they add up. They go dull. So they add up and they add up and they add up. And then you keep them. So you have a stack of blades that you've kept in your house somewhere because we don't want to throw them away. And so that's a lot of money sitting there. So we have our electric sharpener and there is one in one key ingredient why this works. Okay. One key ingredient and that is the stones. So we use sharpening stones much like we have used for sharpening our knives, um, any kind of steel for, for centuries to um to sharpen our blade and it's those diamond stones or ceramic stones um, or wet stones that keep our knives and blades nice and sharp so in this sharpener we've done the same thing so this actually uses diamond grit stones top and bottom of the lid and it is electric so you you plug it into your wall and it sharpens both sides of your blades at once but what a great way carla right to save money especially if you kept your blades and we all know when you're working on a project how, and I don't want to say the word lazy, but we don't want to have to go buy another blade, maybe because the store's closed or you just got to finish something. And we have this dull blade. And as we're cutting, how many of us have used dull blades cutting our fabric? 
you know, getting above, you're putting pressure. I yes, I think we all have, and that could put a lot of strain. So what a great way to keep all your blades sharp, great way to save money, and eventually you're gonna have to buy blades, right? So we're not, you're gonna have to buy a blade at some point. So, but the blades you've already kept, what a great way, Callie, to get your blades nice and sharp as you're working on your projects. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, well, I am jealous for the person who's gonna win this and I believe we have selected a winner. Um, we're gonna show that name on screen right now. Um, Donna, well, she needs a sharpener. Donna, you got a sharpener. Yeah, congratulations, <laughs> Donna. Donna. <laughs> so Donna, please um, email events at allbrands.com and give us your name and phone number and we will get that awesome electric sharpener out to you um, and congrats again. And uh, like I said last time, if you are just joining us, no worries. We still have more giveaways planned. We have time, so stick around with us and uh, let's talk a little bit more about um, about this frame and everything else. So what else you got for us today, y'all? Yeah, absolutely. Well, so we talked about the versatility of the handlebars, right? So you can move it front and back. Well, let's show them how easy it is to use your foot pedal and yes. move it across. So what I'm gonna do is just unattach um, my stitch regulator, because we do make stitch regulator for several different styles of machines. Um, but I'm going to plug in my foot pedal and we're going to grab the chair there. Just grab the chair. Yeah. So, uh, Callie and the viewers, that's another thing I want to point out too, is if you have a machine that's compatible, um, you can then get the stitch regulator or the speed control and you can purchase those through all brands as well. Um, we do have the compatibility list, but what a great way uh, to use your machine if you don't want to use your foot pedal. But at the same time, if your machine isn't compatible, this is such a perfect frame for you to sit down to use your foot pedal. Uh, it makes it more convenient with a smaller frame as you, as you use your foot pedal. Uh, those longer frames, you have to kind of manage your foot pedal down the length of your frame. So this is way more convenient to have a four foot frame where you can sit and the foot pedals in I'll one spot right through the whole entire process. So let's, Carla, let's get that fired just up. Just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second. I have to get my foot pedal. Yeah. Anyway, this chair's a little high. Really and as she does to that, Kelly, I'm gonna just answer one quick question. So it goes back to the cutter. So yes, it could be left-handed or right-handed. Um, so if you're left-handed, great. If you're right-handed, even better. Now, see, you can tell that I don't have the stitch regulator on because the fast starting movement, I have to be the stitch regulator. Now let's do a couple of squirrels here. Yeah, and I know you're gonna make me stop, Mark. <laughs> No, I love watching you do that. And I'm sure all the viewers that are watching, I want to point out something. Look how easy it is for you to manage the stitch rate, the stitch speed by using a foot pedal by moving the machine on top of the fabric. Now I'm going to say that again because I think maybe said it a little fast. When you are using your foot pedal and moving the fabric underneath um, the machine, it is really hard to manage your, your stitch length. So as we can see with Carla, she is using her foot pedal, but moving the machine on top of the fabric. And you can see, let's get that other picture. Let's go, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Look that how is, simple it is. Arriving. Right? Look how simple that is oh to gosh. move it on top. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. So anyway. foot pedal, foot pedal or not, <laughs> you can manage your, your speed much better. All right, we all know when we hear the foot pedal, right? People, I always ask questions too, and it's true. That is hard to keep the consistency when you're using a foot pedal and moving the fabric around because you could get long stitches, short stitches, and then trying to be creative. I, you know, I know we can get the gloves and stuff, but trying to be creative by moving and doing the swirls, okay. it's going to be hard. And look how simple it was to use your own machine on top of the carriage that was moving so smooth with your foot pedal, making those designs. You don't have to be professional. Um, I'm sure. Callie and everybody else who's watching, you guys probably doodle on paper, right? You guys get your pen and paper and you guys are just make swirls and go along. That's all that oh, is, God. right? That's all that is. Doodling is a good thing. Very good. <laughs> 
And you know, I do, I do just want to point out too, if you, uh, if you are just joining us, um, this is the Grace Cutie frame, and it is an absolutely incredible new frame. Um, and I sh also want to point out that we are selling this on allbrands.com for $7.89 right now. Now that is only going to last for six more days. The price is going to go back up to $8.89 on March 1st. So make sure that if you really want this, if you want this frame, I would get it in the next six days because that price point is really, really remarkable. Um, and it, I mean, you've seen it work. You've seen it. It looks and functions. It's absolutely amazing. I am kind of obsessed with the cutie frame, if I'm being completely honest. It's, um, it's amazing. It's true. And Callie, you know, we hear stories. So I, I ask questions when I'm on the phone with people and I try to get, you know, what they're looking for and why. And when I hear the stories that they bring up, this frame fits everybody, right? Um, you're looking at people who, I, I saw some comments, right? They don't have the space or the room. This gives you that option. And because it's so small and versatile with you, you can set it aside, you can put it along the wall, you can hang it up like Carla said. You don't have to have a gigantic frame to do your king size quilts. And so the cutie frame, I like to look at it really like it's an accessory. It's an accessory to your machine that gives you a more convenient way to quilt. Cause we all like the convenience. That's why we buy better tools, better. And I say tools, but like in the quilting world, right? You got your, you want your good needles or good bobbins, your machine, a good chair. How many of us want a good chair when we quilt, right? Cause you're back. So if you think about the nice, nice um, products that we buy for our hobby, the cutie frame is another one that we want to add to that list because it does make that more convenient with less strain on your body. Oh yeah. And I will say as well, um, you know, not only are we selling the cutie frame, we are also selling two uh, combos. I mentioned them earlier, but I want to talk about them just again, just to bring them up. Cause I think that these are really great combos, especially if sewing is like, the quarantine hobby you picked up over the last year and you're like really looking to step, uh, step your game up a little bit. Um, so we have two uh, cutie frame combos right now. We have one with the cutie frame, the 13 by 13 inch ruler base, um, an extension table and the Grace speed control box. And it also comes with a brother PQ 1500 SL. Um, we are selling that one on our site right now for $16.99.99. And um, then we also have another one with all of that good stuff, but instead of the Brother PQ 1500 SL, it has a Juki TL 2010Q. So like I said, if you just picked up core, like sewing as a quarantine hobby and you're really looking to up your game here, I think that this is the perfect thing that you need to get started, just start machine quilting. I mean, this, you, you saw, I mean, I think that it's mesmerizing, it's really gorgeous. And there are so many different things that you can do with it, you can put it, in so many different places. I know we talked about that earlier too, but it's really, really fantastic. It is, thank you. And then do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you understand that this can travel with you. Mm -hmm. I say it's maybe the new quilt um, quilting bee, Frank. So <laughs> you don't have to quilt what everybody else is quilting on. You set all four of these <laughs> in a circle and you could be quilting on your own quilt and by the end of the session, man, you've got quilts done. So yeah, so this, no, it's really portable. It's a lot of fun and it lets you continue to do what you love. Whether you travel a lot, it can go with you. So if you have a motor home or if you have an RV that you want to put uh, your frame in and your little domestic machine, hey, take it with you. That's right. It, and then, I really love this. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. Go ahead. No, okay. I was just going to quickly bring up, I know we showed the 19, but behind Carla, we had our 15. And yeah. so there is a growth process. And one thing that Grace Company really understands from, from the quilter side is the growth, right? That's why we started with the nine inch machines. And that's why they've been so popular for over the years. They start with nine and they end up, they want to go bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so with the Cunique, line of machines you can go from that smaller machine to the 15 inch machine up to our 19 inch machine um, and then cal you talked about bundles and i know you guys have some wonderful prices that include the cutie frame with also the 15 inch machines and 19 and so um for all those who are watching all those all brand um customers 
be sure to go to All Brands' site to check the wonderful packages that the 15 and 19 has with the cutie frame. Yes, if you go to um, our our pages for the, uh, the 15 machine, um, we have options on the page and you go ahead and select that cutie frame and you can get both of those. Uh, looks like we have another question from Angel asking if there is a cutie combo for the long arm machines. Um, and hold on, I lost my train of thought. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, so Angel, I would recommend that you go ahead and take a look at our website. Um, we have we have a good bit of stuff that we're offering with the cutie frame. So go ahead and take a look um, and shop around. Um, but I think we should move on to, do we have any more questions or anything? Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to please type them in the chat um, and we'll try and answer them live as best we can. Um, Catherine is asking how it attaches to the table. I believe it just rests on it top, right? It screws down onto it, so there's yeah. a little oh, okay. um, in the corner and it screws to the legs. Yeah, yeah. so really easy. And then outside of the legs, Callie, if she's also talking about just a regular table, it actually just sits. Just sits on I mean, I can table. pick, I can pick, I can pick probably the wrong side. Let me go to this side on three. So you can see that I can just pick this side up off the, uh, off the frame right there. So it just sits right on top of the frame and it is very, very sturdy. Whether when our legs come out, you can get the legs for it. Again, that's all still very sturdy or just on the table where it just sits also very sturdy. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much. And I know Carly, you were saying how absolutely sturdy it is just okay. like resting on top of the table, right? Yeah, it's amazing. It doesn't even move on top of the table. You would think that it would, but it's just so stable. And um, so, yeah, even if you are doing a, a pattern or you have a machine that's a little bouncy, and eh, it's really stable. Awesome. So do we have any uh, any more questions or anything like that? Okay. Um, well, let's move on to another giveaway. I believe we are giving away um, the linear sharpener right. as well. Is that correct? That is correct. Awesome. All right, y'all get your comments in. All right, you're gonna want this linear sharpener, I promise. <laughs> you are absolutely gonna want it. So as you can see, or as you can tell throughout this video, TrueCut has been one that keeps you easier, safer, and more accurate. The other um, linear sharp, the other sharpener we have is our linear sharpener. So we call it linear obviously because of the, the length. Um, and we also call it manual because it has, you have to do it manually. And so it does have one stone on the side of the, the um, sharpener as well. So again, it's that key ingredient on why these work is that honing stone. So it has a diamond stone. So you put your um, cutter right in there and it sits right on top of your table. So on the back side here, let's get a picture on the back side. So it has the rubber feet that keep it from, let's turn this way so everybody can see. So it has a rubber feet that keep it from sliding. So the idea is you never have to put your hands on there to, to hold it down. So you simply put this on top of your table with those rubber feet and then you run the sharpener back and forth, back and forth. And you do this. The rotary cutter. Yeah, the rotary cutter. What did I say? Sharpener. Run the sharpener. You could do the sharpener too. Okay. <laughs> you can do the sharpener. It's okay. It won't work, but you can try it. Um, so yes, the rotary cutter. Thank you. So you can get the rotary cutter and run it back and forth, back and forth. And so now you can sharpen your blade while you're cutting. And that's the nice thing about this is on your cutting table. So you go from cutting your fabric and as you start seeing skipped cuts or you know your blade is dull, you can simply go from cutting to sharpening back and forth, back and forth, which keeps you again, that safer, right? We want you to be safe and we don't want to have to, you know, you have to struggle and all the, all the pain. So fantastic sharpener. So that is our linear sharpener. Who is a lucky winner on this one? Okay. All right. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing this off. Um, so I believe we have a winner and we will show that name up on the screen. Pam, Pam Alazzo, you definitely need a sharpener. Well, there we go. Congratulations. Uh, so uh, please email events at allbrands.com and give us your name and phone number and we will get that sharpener out to you. That is like, I mean, I don't even know. I, I'm just really excited about all the giveaways and stuff we've been doing today. Oh my goodness. Um, so if go ahead and keep commenting if you do have any questions or anything like that. Um, 
But thank you so much, Mark and Carla, for being on the show. Um, and we'll let a few more comments kind of trickle in if anybody else has any questions. Um, and we are going to be giving away a $100 All Brands card at the end of this stream, um, which is also very exciting. So stay tuned. Um, and yeah, so um, go ahead and get your comments in, like and share, please do that. Um, and again, just to wrap up, um, if you have joined us kind of halfway through, um, we are selling this cutie frame for $789 on our website, but that price is only gonna last for the next six days. So if you do purchase uh, after March 1st, that price is gonna go back up to 889. So if you want this, get it while it's hot. That is a really, really fantastic price point. Um, and like Mark said, we also are offering some combos with the uh, Cunique, the 15 uh, machine. So if you go over to those 15 product pages, you can go ahead and add the cutie frame uh, to your purchase and kind of bundle those two together. Um, Catherine wants to know what length the table expands to. It doesn't expand. It's just the size that it is, but you can quilt any size quilt. So it's a hoop frame concept. Um, for are you talking about the table or the legs? <laughs> because the frame is not going to expand this way. It does extend this way. So if you're talking about the extension, yeah, this, this way, way, the width. Yeah. So it, it's the width. 21, I think it is. Yeah, yep. So it expands width-wise to accommodate the larger throat machines, okay. um, but lengthwise. It's not going to grow. You can't put water on it. You can't stretch it. It is it is four feet in length, and that's the size it's going to be because, like Carla mentioned, it is that hoop style frame and the fabric will drape over the side, which allows you to do those king, queen, okay. any size of quilt because it goes over the side. And you can add automation to it if your machine's compatible. Yes. I just wanted you to know that you know you're not limited to that. So you know if you have a Kinect machine and it's sometimes compatible with the, like the Juki 2010, the automation is compatible. So know that once you have it, you don't need another frame. You have a lot of options with yes. this frame. And I i mean, that's one of the things that I really do like about it. Um, I know that, you know, since a lot of folks are still stuck at home, we're looking for ways to kind of tap into that creativity. Um, and I think that this is the perfect opportunity to do so. And a lot of folks seem to be agreeing. And thank you all so much for watching. Oh my goodness. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give away that $100 All Brands gift card now. So please go ahead and comment. Let's get some more comments in like this, share this as well. Um, and if you, uh, if you do, if you are interested in purchasing this cutie frame, which you absolutely should be because it's amazing, um, you can go over to allbrands.com and we've got that special price, $7.89 for only six more days. So after March 1st, that price is going right back up to $889. Um, so you're not going to want to miss that good sale and all of the other cool combos and everything else that we've got um, along with this cutie frame. Um, and again, thank you both so much, Mark and Carla, for coming on. This has been thank an you. absolute blast. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm so excited. Oh, Tammy has a question. Tammy wants to know, can this frame be used with a regular brother embroidery machine? Um, yes. Do you mean single needle, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, but that's the one thing. I mean, I know I've said it so many times already, but this is a very versatile, very, very versatile frame. So you don't have to limit yourself, right? Um, and I believe we have a winner for our $100 All Brands gift card. So let's we do let's a go. drum roll. Let's do a drum roll. Yeah, Maria. Oh my gosh! Well, congratulations, Maria Martin. You have hey, that's won a wonderful last name. I know. Yeah, <laughs> you have won a one hundred dollar All Brands gift card, Maria. So thank you so very much. Um, like with all the other winners, please email events at allbrands.com, and we will get that gift card out to you. Give us your name and your phone number in the email. We will get that out to you. Um, but again, thank you so very much, Mark and Carla, for being on the show today. Um, I believe that about wraps it up. Um, any any other awesome things that you want to plug that Grace has got going on? Or um... I'll get your order in. They're going fast. Yes. So if you yes. want one for the summer, hey, we, we got to get it in. True. Yes. Absolutely. Um, all right. Well, I think that just about does it for the All Brand Show today. Um, thank you all so very much for tuning in. And again, thank you, 
Mark and Carla for being on the show. Um, and again, tune in on Thursday. We will be talking about the Disney scan and cut. And we've got some really, really great things coming up on Thursday. Um, so again, thank you all so very much for joining. And thank you so much for tuning in with me. I'm Callie Champagne. And this has been the All Brand Show. And we are signing off for the day. So have a great rest of your day, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.